A basketballer has been detained by customs who right tried to bring his dogs. French Star bulldog was in fact into the country. On carry-on luggage on a qualified out of LAX. The pooch didn't quite make it. It's on the first plane back, but Lamar, he's here to stay. People know you as the basketballer with the dog, but who is Lamar Patterson? Uh, I mean, I'm so much more than that. Like, uh, like, like I'm just a chill person. Um, like, I feel like uh, I'm always like cracking jokes, like just trying to brighten up people's day. That whole thing with, with Kobe was just like, I just wanted my buddy here, you know? Now I'm just infamous for that, but it's all right. So you got two young boys back home. How much do they motivate you? A lot. Like, it's amazing. So, like, I had my oldest when I was 16. Like, I was young. 16, yeah. <laughs> so, like, look at your face now. It's, like, crazy. It's, like, wow. Like, like what the heck am I going to do? You know, like, I don't have a job. I'm in high school. Like, I got it. Like, I didn't know what, what life was going to be like. He's, like, my son, but he's, like, also, like, a little brother as well. Because, like, like, all right, I'm still your parent. And then my youngest, Elijah, he's so energetic. So energetic. I, he doesn't get that from me. I'll tell you that. Patterson way out front. Bam. Oh, it's all, all game. game. Ball game. Oh, ball game. my. I had two older brothers who uh, played the sport as well. And so I used to always try to be like them or be better than them. And that was like my goal. Like, hey, I want to be better than my brothers. Did you know when you were younger that you'd one day play in the NBA? That was the goal. Like, I, like, like I always had, like, that dream, like, like, I feel like every kid has that dream. With the 48th pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, Lamar Patterson from the University of Pittsburgh. Lamar Patterson is a guy that we can put all over the place. He's a great kid, working hard, uh, focused, and, and he's going to do better as, as we progress on. How tough is the grind to get back into the NBA once you've had a taste of it? It definitely leaves a taste in your mouth. I'm a couple years older now. I've been through a couple different leagues, different cultures, different countries, stuff like that. So it's like going back, um, I think like if I was able to have the opportunity, like I would take it and cherish it probably like a hundred times more. Lamar Patterson just points to his teammates and says, keep beating me and I'll keep shooting and scoring. I feel like I'm a good enough player and I'm still young enough, you know? I'm still like in that prime age where like, my face and name is still in the NBA. Like, it's not out the window.